morning folks. We've had a really early start, uh, set out at first light and uh, we've arrived at this woodland, beautiful big oak woodland uh, and this is where this is where the challenge is. Um, there's a lot of hazel as well as oak so it's going to be loads of uh, building materials and uh, yeah it looks good. I'm just going to try and find the water source, I'm going to get get a, get my bearings a little bit, have a walk around try and find a good spot to set up and uh, get building. Okay, I think I found a good spot. It's taken me a little while to find it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lean-to shelter put up and then I'm gonna try and put some sort of cover over the front, uh, perhaps a bit higher up to protect my fire. It's meant to rain tomorrow um, and the last thing I want is my fire to get doused. Yeah, I'm gonna get cracking. Okay, so this is the basic shape. So whether you can see that in the background. Uh, lean to, quite shallow lean to, uh, in the hope that all the leaf litter doesn't just uh, fall off. I have to pack that up quite thick. Um, but I've left a couple of gaps in there because I now want to get my bed built. And um, I'm gonna to need to drive some uh, some stakes into the ground to get my bed up off the ground so that's what I'm going to focus on now get the bed done and then I'll infill otherwise I'm not going to be able to uh, drive those pegs into the back because the slope of the roof uh, will be in the way Sort of end here and then my back lean to wall. I'm just trying to infill it now with bits of hazel and whatever I can find really. Anything just to hold the leaf litter on. And I've got a couple of horizontal uh, pieces which are going to come across here and here which will hopefully stop all the leaf litter from slipping down as well. But hopefully that should give me enough cover my bed and that little triangle in the back over there I'm going to fill in so I don't because the wind is coming from this direction um, just so I, the wind isn't howling across my ears overnight right well I've got most of the shelter up um, I've got to obviously finish thatching it and cover it with leaf litter but I'm getting really hungry uh, we were up super early this morning um, at, at first light um, and uh, kind of part of the challenge is that we weren't allowed anything to eat or drink so I haven't had anything to drink or eat since last night um, and I'm thirsty so um, I'm gonna go and get some water but unfortunately the water has to be boiled so I'm gonna have to well it has to be filtered and then boiled so I'm gonna go and get some water in a minute fill my billy can up get a fire on the go boil some water up so I can have a drink and um, and then have a little bit of something to eat so food wise, food is provided on this challenge. Um, we have uh, food given to us each day. Um, today um, we have a portion of rice, um, just plain rice, um, one sweet corn, a banana, and uh, a fish. Um, I've got a trout, which is um, needs to be fully prepared. It's just, uh, you know, it is a fish as it was taken out of the river. Um, and I'll go and collect that in a bit. That's that's kept down at a central location um, in a in a cold box, uh, just so that um, you know there's no risk of it of it going manky. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a drink and I'm gonna have my banana. So this is our water source, <laughs> and as you can see, there ain't a lot of water in it. So I'm gonna try and use my lid to scoop the water out, and fill up my billy can. got here is a mill bank bag and this is just a, a sediment filter basically uh, and the idea is that you fill that up those of you who haven't used these before you fill it up with water you wait for it to drain down to this line here and then you collect the filtered water which is fil filtered through this canvas um, into your into your billy can so I'm just going to take what I've poured in here pour it into the, 
an old bank bag. On the walk in I found a load of silver birch, which was a right bonus. So I'm just scraping a load to create a powder. This is the bark. You can see the silver colour there. You just scrape the inside. Actually you can scrape the outside as well. It's covered in, it's just full of natural oils, natural resins, which are Really good and flammable and took a spark nicely. Well, I got my fire lit and then I did the stupidest thing while I was putting my billy on the um, pot hanger. I made like a adjustable pot hanger type thing and uh, it slipped off the pot hanger and tipped the whole lot onto the ground. I managed to save the little bit that went in the lid, that was it. So I'm gonna have to go back to the water source and try and scrape up some more of that minuscule puddle. <laughs> Right, while that's coming up to the boil, I'm going to go and see if I can't find something to make the water taste a bit nicer. See if I can find some nettles or something to make a tea. Yes! There we go. Nice cup of nettle tea. Cheers! Well, I've got my fire reflector made. Uh, I've got all the debris now on the shelter that I'm going to put on there for day today. It's not really enough. Um, you're supposed to you're supposed to put on about a foot deep. Mine's not. Mine's probably about eight nine inches. 
Uh, but I can't see through it, I can't see daylight through it, so uh, I'm just going to hope for the best. Today, tonight it's supposed to be dry um, and, uh, and rain tomorrow, so um, if I need to put more on I'll do that tomorrow. But I have had enough of collecting leaf litter. Okay, the shelter's evolved again. <laughs> um, there's meant to be some rain coming in tomorrow and um, one of the other guys taking part in the challenge has told me that the wind direction is gonna, is gonna shift um, and it would basically be blowing straight into my shelter. Uh, so what I've done is I've added an end uh, which sort of wraps around um, and, uh, and almost closes up where the fire reflector is. Um, so I'm going to get that thatched in. Um, I'm going to do a bit now. Probably finish the rest of it off tomorrow because it's not meant. To, that rain's not meant to come in till the morning. Um, so hopefully I'll have a bit of time at first light just to get the thatching finished off. Uh, yeah, I've collected a load more firewood. Um, as you can see, I've got a load piled up here. I've got a whole load stacked inside the shelter. So hopefully that'll stay dry. <sighs> yeah, it's coming together. I'm tired. It's been a long day. A good day, but a long day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, another cup of tea. I've only had the one cup of tea today. And uh, yeah, I must be I must be a bit dehydrated because I've been working hard all day. So I'm going to get my, my billy on to boil and more tea. So the cup of tea I'm going to make now is with a plant called Woodruff which uh, I didn't know about until today. Joe, who runs the, who runs the um, courses here at Wilderness uh, Survival Skills, uh, told me about this. He kindly told me about this today. Um, and uh, it grows on the forest floor. And um, it's also an indicator that uh, the forest is an ancient forest. Um, you know, if these grow, um, if you find these growing, that's, that usually means that that forest is over a certain age. And uh, apparently it makes a very nice tea. sort of planty, pleasant. Hello. There you go. That's my fishy. I just gutted him. Yeah, he's cool. He's an extra large trout. Double portion, apparently. That looks, well, that looks massive. That will, uh, That'll certainly fill me up. And I've got rice left and I've got sweet corn. Whew. So I'm going to get him. I'm just going to stab this stick. I've poked a stick right the way through him. I'm going to stab that in the ground and uh, just let him roast over the fire. Yum. It's been a fantastic day. Uh, you know, this is, this is just the first day out of the way. Um, I've got tonight. That's going to be the real tester of, uh, of, of my shelter. See how it all holds up. Um, but uh, yeah, I've had a I've had a brilliant day. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of my dinner on. I've got my rice in there. Towards the end, I'm going to put my sweet corn in. And then when the trout is done, I'm going to sort of chop it all off the bone and put it in as well. That sounds good to me anyway. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Mm. Oh, 
shit. This is bushcraft. One of the five minute rule. There you go. Not so bad, is it? Trout, rice, sweet corn. Come on, we'll enjoy this. Mm. That is so good. I can't even describe to you how good that fish is. Oily. Oh, it's good. Mm. I'm wondering what their racket is, by the way. I put the remains of the fish on the fire, and it's so oily, being trout. It's like it's like an oil lamp. <laughs> Well folks, it's not late, it's only 8 o'clock, <laughs> but I'm exhausted. I'm going to try and get some sleep. I've just loaded the fire up and um, hopefully I'll get three, four hours maybe um, before uh, I need to load it up again. I'm going to have to keep waking up through the night to keep the fire going. I've only got my thin wool blanket um, and uh, I think the temperature is supposed to feel like about minus two tonight. so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, uh, you know, keep attending to the fire. So uh, my coldness will be my alarm clock. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get three or four hours before I'm woken up. Good night. Morning. I slept. Pretty well, actually. I obviously had to get up um, sort of every two to three hours uh, to build the fire back up again. Um, but uh, between that, I slept soundly and I was warm. I wasn't cold once. Uh, the bed was reasonably comfortable, but I'm going to work on that a bit today. That's going to be one of my one of my things I want to do today is just to try and pad it out a little bit more, uh, make it a bit more comfortable. But, um, yeah, good. I slept better than I thought I would. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. And um, I'm shortly going to get up and go and get some water. Get some water on to boil so I can have um, a hot cup of something. I'll make another tea. Um, and then... Uh, get organised and get cracking. Well, as you can hear, it started raining, only very lightly at the moment, but um, I've just started uh, on the thatching, on that end there that I needed to finish off. I put some water on to boil um, and I'm going to carry on carry on thatching it while the water comes up to the boil so I'm not wasting that bit of time I don't know when this rain is supposed to come in somebody said it was supposed to be first thing and then last night somebody said it's coming in later on but uh, I think I've got to assume it could happen any time <laughs> the heavy rain that is got lots of firewood to collect today I burnt through that big pile of firewood I had yesterday I pretty much got through that last night. <coughs> yeah, which is understandable really, it was burning all night. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry throat, you see, need tea. Cheers.
So in order to earn our meat for today, our, our pheasant, uh, Joe has set us uh, a test which we have to pass. Um, and uh, the test is simply to make a trap um, that would be capable of catching a small mammal or a bird. Um, and uh, if it works and he's happy with it, he'll give us our pheasant. We won't actually be using the trap, it's purely just to demonstrate that we have some understanding of how a trap works, um, which is where um, I fall down slightly because I'm hopeless at traps. Um, you know, I've made a few traps just to try them out in the, in the, in the past, but um, I can't really remember how I made them. <laughs> the figure of four is the obvious one, but I just cannot. I've been racking my brains trying to, uh, trying to remember how to do the figure of four and I just can't. So I've come up with something um, just off the top of my head and hopefully it will, um, hopefully it will work. Okay, so it's a deadfall trap. This piece of wood here is going to be propped up and when it's triggered, it will drop like this. And my trigger, which is the bit that I was having difficulty with, I've made like this. So I've got a, a piece of hazel here, I don't whether you can see that, uh, in two halves, um, which match up exactly. Oops. Like this. And then in the middle, I've made another notch so that I can put this smaller piece of hazel in there, like this. And that will be my trigger because it goes through where these two join together when it's when it's disturbed it moves the it moves the joint apart and then causes it to collapse that's the idea so the idea is that you'd set this on a game trail and your animal will come along like this dum -dum 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 -dum, and it would hit this trigger and down it comes yeah let's hope it works when joe comes to test it I've just come for a little walk around the outside of the woodland um, just to see what there is to, to be found. Uh, in particular looking for, for things to eat, um, to add a bit of greenery uh, to whatever we get today. We still haven't had our, um, our ration of food yet for today. Um, and it's sort of pushing on, on 11 o'clock and I'm pretty, pretty hungry to be honest. Um, so you know if I can find anything that I can eat in the meantime that'll be a bonus. I found some goose grass, some young goose grass. Uh, I've just collected a load here. I'm going to collect some more, um, and uh, you know, hopefully, I'll be able to do something with that. Well, what a bonus! I just got back from my walk, uh, having gathered some uh, cleavers, goose grass, and some uh, chickweed, um, and uh, and I met Joe, who came up with our food for the day. And I tell you, what a feast I'm going to have! Let's have a look what we got. So we have a large carrot, a large parsnip, a potato, a stock pot, put a bit of flavour in it, uh, an onion, I've got an apple, I've got some flour, and the pièce de résistance. I've got my pheasant. So it's a hen bird. I'm going to go and um, pluck and gut this shortly and then I'm going to cut the meat up and uh, I'm going to start my stew. I'm going to have it for lunch as well as for dinner because there's so much. So I'm going to have a bit of prep to do for my veggies and, um, and the pheasant so uh, what I'm going to do is make myself a little uh, table kind of chopping board raised thing off the ground type job. So I've just cut some hazel which have nice forks on the top like this um, which will support cross beams and then I'll um, I'll put my table on top of that. I'm just going to sharpen the ends though so I can drive them into the ground.
Okay, I'm going to go and pluck the pheasant. Uh, I'm going to try and film it because obviously I'm going to need both my hands. I'm going to try and film it on the GoPro. So I've got my GoPro bra on. There you go, look. Hands free. So, uh, yeah, let's go and make a feathery mess. Got a little bit of the meat just on to, to sear over the fire and then I'm going to put it in the pot uh, with some of that veg which I'm going to prep now. We were given a bit of flour, so I'm gonna make a little paste and thicken up my stew a little bit. And in with the greenery. There we go. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Some veggies, some meat. really good. Bit of pheasant. Mm. Mm. Not only pheasant, but the shot too. <laughs> little tree well and another one quite deep well as you can see it's getting dark um, this little camera is hopeless uh, in low light conditions. I just tried to take some footage of the of the woodland. I mean, to me, with you know my my eyes, I can see quite well, but try and capture it on film, it just it's just black. So um, thus the head torch shining on my face. Uh, so I'm gonna um, start thinking about getting some dinner on. I'm not. Um, massively hungry but I'm going to start cooking it now and I'm sure by the time uh, it's ready and especially when I smell it cooking I'm going to be ready to eat. So I'm going to have exactly the same thing I had at lunch so I'm, I'm not going to show you me preparing it again it's going to be the same thing uh, basically. It was really good so I'm looking forward to more of the same. I made some improvements to my um, spoon come spatula thingy today. That's the wrong way up. So I scooped out a little bit more on the top and on the bottom. And I narrowed it a little bit for the handle so it's a little, a little bit more comfortable to use. 
it's not a spoon obviously but um, even when it was thicker it worked quite well just to be able to scoop stuff out of the pot and shovel it into my gob mm -mm -mm. don't know whether you can hear that but it's absolutely chucking it down again <laughs> but it's alright, it's lovely and dry in here I'm actually really warm since I finished cooking I've um, stuck that fire up and got a bit more wood on and it's uh, so hot I think I'm going to have to take my fleece off and just wear my base layer dinner's good just got to show you this look at the floor here absolutely soaking soaking wet with the rain it is totally wet out here and if we go into the shelter look at that absolutely bone dry everywhere not a drop has come in back outside soaking wet and rain so tomorrow morning it's going to be uh, an early an early start um, we've got to get packed away um, well we've got to put the fire fire out and clear our mess away but the actually the shelters themselves are staying um, Joe wants us to keep them up um, he's going to be coming back here in the autumn um, and he wants to see how well they fed, see if they're still standing, see if they're still dry inside. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be quite a nice test. Um, so yeah, we haven't got to pack anything down as such. We've just got to clear our stuff away, pack up, make sure the fire is out, and then we're going to go and meet Joe uh, in the main camp area uh, where he's promised us breakfast. He's going to cook us uh, bacon, uh, bacon and mushroom wrap, I think he said, or bacon and mushroom wrap. I can't remember. Definitely bacon and mushrooms involved anyway, which sounds good to me. The food actually on this on this uh, challenge has been really good. Uh, you know, I, I I sort of expected very basic, meagre rations uh, that we'd then have to bulk out with what we could forage. There was plenty of food, uh, a good variety of food, and um, and plenty of it. I mean, that fish last night that was just amazingly good. The pheasant tonight, delicious. <laughs> you know, good food, really good food. So, um, yeah. If anybody's thinking of uh, going on a bushcraft course or, or, or you like the idea of a challenge like this, I, I really recommend, I really highly recommend uh, Wilderness Survival Skills. Um, Joe is a top bloke. Um, his team are fantastic. Uh, you know, they they are experts in their field. Um, they're really friendly. They're really welcoming. Great, you know. So, uh, you know, if you're considering it, uh, have a look and see what he's got on offer. There might be something um, that will fit the bill. As well as the 48-hour uh, challenge, which I've been taking part in, um, also this weekend there's, there's been a 24-hour challenge, uh, which has been a, a kind of introduction to bushcraft challenge, if you like. Uh, they had a day of tuition, bushcraft tuition yesterday, um, so they learnt about shelter building and fire lighting and game preparation and various other bits and pieces. Um, and then today they've been doing what, we, what we've been doing. So they had to go into, uh, into the woods, build a shelter, make a fire, make a bed, and then prepare their dinner for this evening, which was exactly what we had. They had, they had pheasant as well. Their course took place in a different wood to this one. Um, we we had a um, a bit of a walk to get to this wood from the from the main camp area. They're they're doing their challenge in in the main area. But uh, aside from that, basically what they're doing today is is what we did yesterday. So uh, yeah, and there are a lot of them on that. I think there was about 18 on that course. So um, yeah, hopefully they all they all got on well and they've uh, they've got dry shelters to sleep in tonight as well. But yeah, check out wilderness survival skills.
so uh, I'm going to get myself off to bed and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's uh, about quarter to seven and I need to get up and get things put away. I had another warm and comfortable night's sleep. Um, I was up a bit more frequently loading the fire up. For some reason my fire was burning out uh, a bit quicker between load ups uh, last night. Not sure why. Perhaps I just wasn't putting as much wood on each time, I don't know. but. I never woke up. <coughs> I never woke up uh, cold as such. Just um, I think I think your body just senses a drop in temperature, um, but it hadn't dropped enough to make me cold. If you see what I mean, I just I could just feel that the fire needed building up. But um, it's only a matter of, matter of um, swinging my legs out of bed, grabbing some wood, and putting it on. I put some really big long logs. Uh, onto the fire last night, which all I've had to do through the night is just drag them along a little bit. I didn't process them as, uh, at all. One of them was about 16 foot long. <laughs> so I've just pulled it along bit by bit as it's burnt down and um, it just saves a lot of saves a lot of effort. You know, not having to cut up. So yeah, that worked well. Well, that's me all packed up. There's my bag, and there's my cab as it's going to be left. Is it going to focus? There we go. I've got rid of the big stuff off my fire and just doused it with some water, but I'm going to come back up after we've had our uh, breakfast and extinguish that properly. I'll bring some water with me. My pot hanger. Oh, quite sad to say bye actually. It's been a nice home. A cosy, toasty, warm home from home. Yeah. Well, bye bye reflector wall. Bye bye pot hanger stick. Bye bye table and skewer. Of my bed, I buy wood store. And bye bye shelter. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a fantastic experience for me. I've loved every second of it. Uh, if you ever get the chance to do something like this, grab it, go for it. It's good fun. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.